Hi there, and welcome back to Lunch with Jeremy's. Today, we'll be making something with salmon. First of all, let's cut up this salmon in half so it's a bit more usable and cost friendly because I'm cheap and I'm Asian. After cutting the salmon in half, flip over your fillet of salmon and you can score the skin. I like to score the skin so it's a lot easier to cook with and it cooks down more evenly as well so it doesn't like curl up wherever you cook it. Now for the fun part, let's salt the salmon. I would like to use like a pinch or two for each side. After salt, it's always pepper. So I like to use black pepper but if you don't have it, you can use any kind of pepper. The best is to use freshly cracked black pepper, but if you don't have it, any kind is fine. So I'm gonna take some aluminum foil and make a ghetto version of an oven dish. Why? Because I do not have an oven dish and this is the cheapest way to make one. So after making a ghetto version of the oven dish, just put the salmon in and skin side up and then give it some olive oil. After you're done with that, let's put it aside and get to the other ingredients that we have which are a very old lemon and a mandarin orange from Chinese New Year. I'll just cut the lemon however you want it because I don't really care. Wedges maybe? It's easier. And I'm gonna get a bit fancy because I saw this in a cooking video and I want to try it. So basically we're just gonna cut the peel off from all the sides. And what you get is the whole orange. Now let's take the orange peel and put it under the salmon. Putting it skin side down now for some reason but oh well. And let's put all the peels and orange juice and a bit of the lemon juice as well on the salmon. Now for some water. So that it can steam in the oven for a bit and not burn everything. Now let's wrap this up. While we're at it, let's put some cherry tomatoes with some olive oil and some bread. Always add olive oil to everything because it's great. Fat as flavor. Now set your oven to 180 to, or 190 and whatever that thing means. Now just preheat it for a bit. After preheating your oven, let's put the tray inside for around 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the size of your salmon. And while we're doing that, let's make a sauce. So heat up a pan, add some water. You remember all that orange that we had? Put everything inside. What we're making is basically like an orange jam. Now to add some sugar, around a spoon to two, depending on how much orange and water you have. Now just heat it up to simmering and maybe just pulverize the orange inside so you can let all the juice come out. This will take around 5 to 10 minutes depending on how much you have but what you basically want is this very jammy consistency. And now use a strainer to get rid of the seeds and the pulp that doesn't really taste that nice. Just mash it in until you get all the juices out. And I think we are done with the fish. I took out the bread and tomatoes while I was doing this because they were getting a bit burnt. And now for the reveal. I think the salmon cooked very well. It doesn't look overcooked. I think it's still pretty juicy inside so we'll just add the sauce that we had or the jam on top of the salmon. And now let's put it back into the oven for 5 minutes at most just to cook that top layer just to give it a bit of color. And you're done! Hey! 
Hey, you have salmon with orange sauce. Salmon with citrus flavors are a very basic combo in cooking and it always goes very well with any citrus fruit you want to use. So mix and match what you want to use and experiment. That's it for today. Thanks for watching till the end and I really hope you liked this video because it took a while. I'm sorry for that but I've been busy with moving. So I'm actually in Indonesia right now and I'm trying to make a new kind of video where I review food. So hopefully that comes soon and I hope you like it as well when it comes out. And this has been fun. Thanks. Bye.